Well, it's almost a century on the Nifty now. So just about three, four points short of that. Very, very good move in the market. And a lot of stocks are buzzing around. Easy Trip is up almost 7% right now. Star Health, Apollo Hospitals, BKG. The list is quite long, actually. So let's take a breather from tracking equities and get uh, some handle on what's happening in the commodity market. We're talking about cotton and sugar today. Manisha is with us. Manisha, over to you. Thank you for that, Sonia. I'll start with cotton because the prices here have continued to decline. The demand is just uh, dismissive, you know. If you look at the global, global prices for uh, cotton, we're trading at a 22-month lows there. And that is the chart that tells you on how the prices really have moved in this year. We've seen a high of $158 per pound and then a low of 71 which was in the month of November itself a couple of uh, weeks ago. And currently, we're just about holding at around those $84 per pound mark. In the Indian markets as well, the decline has been quite sharp for 1 lakh rupees per cash candy to around 65,000 rupees per candy is how we are trading. But even with those kind of prices, we are still 10% higher than the international cotton prices. So even as we have seen 35% of a decline from highs of this year, we still are on the positive side there. If you look at the domestic markets, we have seen the mills come back now. With those kind of high cotton prices, the capacity cut down was very sharp, whether it was about South Indian cotton mills or Gujarat for that matter. But the cotton demand now seems to be coming back here. The Indian cotton export estimate in the meanwhile has been lower because of uh, uh, we, because we are at a premium here. So last year was 43 lakh bales. This time around, the expectation is that we wouldn't cross 25 to 30 lakh bales as well. There is weak buying, one from China and two from Bangladesh as well. Also, when you look at the USDA report for 2022-23, they're expecting a higher production by 2% this time. The consumption in the meanwhile is not expected to gain up as strongly. So the markets do believe that there could be some uh, pressure continuing in case of the cotton prices for the next couple of months as well. Well, that's about cotton, but yes, a lot of movement happening in case of the sugar prices there. For the international markets, there is some support that has continued. So the sugar prices in the international markets holding very close to those seven-month highs there. For the Indian markets, it is about uh, the crop availability. The crushing is just about started. And while India has been allowed to export around 6 million tons already, the government is expected to review this. And by the end of Jan or in Feb, there is an expectation that Indian mills will be allowed to export another 2 to 3 million tons. Because India is looking at a 9 million ton of a surplus. 6 million tons needs to be kept as a buffer. So there can be 2 to 3 million tons more allowed. The other big story for sugar clearly comes in from the wedding and the festive seasons. The industry tells us that the kind of sugar demand that they are seeing because of the wedding season is nearly 10 to 15 percent higher than the previous wedding season. So whatever quota mill uh, is being allowed on a monthly basis is quickly getting consumed. And that's another reason that you are seeing the support coming for the sector. Okay, stay on, Manisha. Sugar